Welcome back. This is our eight-way graphene products comparison longevity test. This will be the second to last update for this hood just because I've had so many problems or failures with this hood that we're just going to go ahead and retest everything. We're going to end this next month at the six month mark. Basically, if you're not follow, if you haven't followed along, I've had issues with the drive victory nano graphene, the detail spray from 303 and from Adams having issues. And then the others are in other tests tests. At this point, I'll just do one more update to the six month mark and we'll be done with this test and we'll move on to the others. If you want to see these products being tested in current test, I have my brand new 41 way and 25 way graphene products test that just started the 1st of May. We'll have everything there. These products, the IGL Easy Graphene, you know, that's a that was a pre-production spray and it ends up being a coating. So with that out of the way, let's get on to the hydrophobics of everything. Adams Graphene Ceramic Coating still holding up. Adams Graphene Spray Coating, you can see that it is extremely weak. Drive Victory Nano Graphene, as we already know, has failed. SPS Graphene doing fantastic, IGL Kenzo Graphene Reinforced also doing great, IGL EZ which is a, at this point it was a pre-production spray, now it's a production coating, 303 Graphene failed, and Adams Graphene Detail Spray failed. You see my, my point in not wanting to continue this test much longer, anything that you see in here is going to be tested again so we can make sure we have more consistent results but also we have more products on there you don't continue this test for two years and it's just one or two products that are holding on so with that being said please make sure you're subscribed hit that like button comment down below thank you guys again for watching we will see you soon